Hi, I'm David Soper, one of the technical marketing engineers supporting Cisco Intersight. Today I'll be going through a demo of automated Hyperflex deployment using Ansible modules for Intersight. To start the demo off, take a look at the Ansible modules used for configuration and the playbooks that can be configured for Hyperflex policy and profile creation, validation, and deployment. I'll start with a quick look at one of the playbooks to do Hyperflex policy creation. I won't spend too much time going through this file. More information on specifics in the file and how Ansible and the Python SDK are used for deployment are available on github.com. And now we're ready to run this playbook and I'll do Ansible playbook. Provide an inventory file which lists the clusters I want to deploy within Intersight and then give it the playbook to create those policies. As this runs, I see Ansible confirm the existence of or create each of the named policies, security, sysconfig, vCenter, storage, my networking related policies, proxies to allow my configured ESX hosts and VMs to reach back out to Intersight, and then at the end, we've got UCS related tasks for each specific cluster suffix with dash one, two, three, or four. And in our play recap, we see all these policies created and we see new node configs for those one, two, three clusters and four was already in good shape. I'll quickly take a look at the other playbooks used. The profiles related playbook actually uses those created shared policies to create individual profiles for each of the Hyperflex clusters I will be deploying. In this case, I have four Hyperflex clusters that I will deploy in parallel using the API. One other thing quickly to look at are the variables that I use. So I've got an inventory file naming each of the clusters I will be deploying. And then I'm using Ansible's group vars and host vars, host underscore vars constructs to specify the variables. In this case, this is my dash one cluster giving the IP ranges used, other networking configs, my storage VLAN, and the specific servers, servers one, two, and three, that will make up this cluster. Now I'll run this playbook. And when that's complete, I have my profiles created and I'll move on into assignment of nodes to the profile and validation. Key point is that I'm now performing an action to actually validate the cluster. This will assign and validate that my profile is good for deployment on the nodes I've specified. And I can run this playbook to assign and validate. And it will run through Again, getting information on each of the servers, configuring the different profiles. And at the end, one of the things I've done in this Ansible playbook is I'm actually waiting for a success return from the API. So I'm waiting for the API to tell me it's assigned. Uh, the Ansible constructs using conditional looping for this are reporting a failed because that's not complete. That's actually not a failure in the playbook, but does just indicate that Ansible will wait for the API to give me a success indication before continuing on. So now we'll take a step back and look through the UI at what we've actually deployed within Intersight. So I can click on my dash one Hyperflex cluster profile and I can take a look at all the settings that were deployed with Ansible. I'll go through these quickly, but this is everything needed to actually deploy this cluster, including servers assigned as part of that profile. Now within the UI, I could click validate and deploy. This would actually run the deploy action against it. But instead of doing that, I'll switch back over to Ansible and I will run my deploy action very similar to the other playbooks, but just performs that deploy action and waits for deploy. Again, the failed here is an Ansible message. It does not mean that there's actually a failure. It just means that it has not completed deploy. 
and switching back into the UI, I'll go take a look at one of these clusters and I see it changing from running validation or no action to running configuration at the top. And I'll let this run for a little while. And then eventually we do get out of the looping and those are ready for use in Intersight. Logging back into Intersight, final thing to show here is that with that automated deployment, I was able to run through all the shared policy creation, profile creation, and specific actions to validate and deploy my cluster. Once I get a successful deployment, these clusters are automatically claimed within Intersight. And I have the ability to go launch their UI directly in Intersight. That concludes today's demo. Thank you for watching. Please visit intersight.com slash help for more info and be sure to check out developer.cisco.com and view the Intersight pages and the new Intersight sandbox where you can run through a lot of these steps live in an Intersight environment. Thank you.